Hey everyone, welcome back. Um, today we're going to just jump right into mock-up video part two. This has been the longest mock-up that I have ever done. I think in part because I am working and I'm doing this project and filming and editing. You know the story. So I'm just going to jump right into what's going on and give you guys a quick update. And I'm going to try my hardest not to make this video too long because this video is already at, while I'm editing it right now, um, this video is already at 20 minutes and I'm going to have to trim it down to fit this part in. Uh, so bear with me. I'm still working on the mock-up um, because I still, the sleeve, yes, there'll be a sleeve video, but I'm also, I saw an adjustment on the sleeve that I have to do and I don't want to do it, but a coat is not a coat without perfect sleeves. And if I have to start, I don't have to start all over with the sleeves. It's literally just a minor adjustment and I'll get into it, um, in the sleeve video, um, is what to for why the heck I'm being so nitpicky and hopefully you guys will understand. Hopefully I'll have some people going, oh my gosh, you're so right. Or, oh my goodness, why are you wasting your time? I'm sure there'll be some of those people. Um, so let's get right into it. So um, I'm going to watch this video as and give you kind of some commentary along the way. Instead of doing a voiceover, I'll kind of put myself up on the top right corner um, chatting with you guys, watching, um, as, as we go along, I figured that's a little better than a voiceover. Again, if you hear honking, if you hear sirens, um, I live on a very busy street in New York right now. Soon it won't be that way because I'll be, um, moving, uh, to a quieter place, I hope. <laughs> but, um, until then, bear with me with the sirens and honking and crazy New Yorkers out there. Um, if anything, it'll just add some entertaining moments and I will try to edit out any crazy sirens where I can, but if there's a siren and it blows out your eardrums, maybe don't wear headphones while watching this video. Uh, okay. So let's start. I'm going to hit play and right off the bat. So if you remember, I kind of left off with what alterations I'm doing to this coat and uh, had to take a lot out in the princess seams in the front and the back. So in this, this is me adjusting first the shoulder seam. Uh, by doing this, I made all of my marks in pen or Sharpie. I did Sharpie eventually, so I at least knew that you guys could see what I was doing. And then, um, so I just kind of line everything up and make, mark where the new line will be. And um, as I'm doing this on the screen, I'll, ex I'll sh kind of tell you a story real quick. So when I bought this pattern, I just naively trusted that everything would line up perfectly. Nah, I don't need to check it. Surely the manufacturer from the 1950s walked their patterns. Everything is just pristine. And then surely the digitizer years and years later would make sure that their pattern walks and um, lines up perfectly. Well, apparently they didn't. And I'm having to go in and make all of these corrections to make the, the pattern itself perfect. perfect. And um, so as I go along, I'm doing this. So right now on the screen, I am fixing the princess seam that I had to take in a whole bunch the la in the last video. So this is how I'm doing it. I first mark where my pins were and then I make sure that the same amount of volume is taken out on both center front princess panel or center front bodice panel and the side front bodice panel. Same thing for the back. That's what I'll be doing. I'll transfer everything with my pins, mark it, and then smooth out that line with my rulers. And this, as you can see, like where my little dash marks are from my pins, when you're pinning and kind of transferring, it's not always gonna end up being a perfect, 
perfect curve so um, that's why it looks a little off but don't worry I will make it perfectly straight with my rulers as I am trained to do now once I've done all of that um, you're probably looking at the screen you're probably seeing this and wondering wait what happened um, I ripped apart my entire muslin mock-up whichever you'd like to call it um, normally I wouldn't do this if the changes were minimum if they were minimum such as oh take in the waist half inch rise the waist a little bit I wouldn't really bother with ripping apart my whole muslin to transfer anything but this had so many adjustments needed and I didn't want to lose any of them or forget them at all so I ripped apart the whole thing and pressed it because as you can see it is quite wrinkly i think i had it wadded up in a bag for a little while um while i did other things for new heritage wool so um once i got all of my pieces ironed and ready to go i then transferred all of my pieces onto the pattern piece and as you can see, I have my pattern upside down and you're probably wondering why are you do the, doing this upside down? Well, it's because I had to pin myself and I can't pin on my right side. I have to pin on my left side. Um, typically patterns are made for the right side of the body and then you would like all your alterations, all your adjustments would be done to the right side of the body if you were fitting on somebody else. But if you're fitting on yourself, but I'm right-handed and it's, that's for some reason just too hard for me. I did the left side, had to flip it upside down and transfer it that way. The reason and the way I did that, um, as you can see, basically trace off with my little, I don't, what is this called? The needle wheel. I had to trace it off with the needle wheel and then... I went in with my rulers and drew over those little little holes that it leaves behind. As I did this, I made sure to um, mark clearly of which lines I should be using and which lines I no longer need. So for example, if I have a ton of lines uh, because I'm adjusting the position of a princess seam, I'm going to use, sometimes I use a highlighter, so I'm not like, cutting out the wrong line and taping things several times so I'll go in with a little highlighter and just mark it as okay follow this line um, to make everything transition smoothly for this pattern this is what I'm doing throughout the whole entire garment as I said there are so many adjustments that it took a while so as I finish those up I'm going to lead you into my fitting which will be me talking to the camera. Once I finish up transferring all of my adjustments to my base pattern, I will then sew up my new mock-up, which I believe is technically mock-up three. So I'll go do that and then I'll come back to talk to you about how that's going with all of those fittings. <laughs> Cause yes, there's more. So basically, after pondering for quite a bit on all the changes, like design changes that I want to do, um, I've run into a couple of things before I even started fitting a sleeve. Sleeve has been difficult, mostly because it's before deciding to make some design changes in order for this coat to look very good on my figure uh, in order for this coat to just look nice and as far as the color blocking where it's going to be how it's going to function I don't want this to look clunky at all this is what I'm gonna try my hardest to avoid and so I'm gonna do the same thing on the right hand side and show you guys what I did um, hopefully it works <laughs> if it doesn't then I'll just edit it out or make it beautiful. Um, and so, yes, I did this on myself just like this. So I'm going to rip this out. Should 
probably making some of you guys nervous. Don't worry. I think as long as I don't get this in my face, it'll be good. First thing first, so you can already see this is like laying over like it should. So I'm going to flatten this out. Lay this down and then start pinning it. And once I pin it, I'll probably adjust it a couple of times just to make sure. But you're basically trying to go from zero to zero. Since I have a bust art in here, there'll be a little bit of blending and overlapping. I probably need to take this down just a hair, but I didn't want to take from here because when I take from this panel, it, it bunches up my neckline. So to keep that from happening, I'm leaving this and only taking it from this side panel and it seems to be acting okay. This is really hard to do right handed on my right hand side. Okay, so there's a little bit here that I need to blend out, which I'll do once it's off my body because I can't I can't do that. Um, so taking this down just a little more, make sure that everything is smooth. See, it automatically did exactly what it needed to. It's laying smooth, you pin it down. Try not to get yourself. I've done that. It doesn't feel great. All right, so now we still have this big, big section. So this, see it's like nice and smooth, I love it. So we're gonna try to do that on the same side or on the other side. So here, you can see here, something right here. Again, it's one of those things you just kind of fiddle with it until until it starts laying right and sometimes it takes quite a bit but it's worth it that's what i keep telling myself it's worth it but with woven with woven fabric specifically you don't want to fit it to yourself skin tight because you're not allowing yourself to be able to move so once I get my sleeves in, the back and the shoulders will be one point of interest to just really check on in the mirror. So yeah, here. Nope, it's right about there. So I'm going to, basically what I'll do is I'll take this and there's a couple of ways you can cut and slash or I can do a complete redesign of this bodice where I have the armhole princess seams instead of the shoulder princess seams that I have right now. I hope I'm in shot. Whatever is from here to here will all be in one pattern piece and from here over will be its own pattern piece which it'll be pretty thin but I don't it that's fine my main goal here is to make the, the waist look very pinched and tucked doing it by color blocking and also patterning so I will have a seam that goes from probably right here blending it into the bust seam here Sorry, going from here, blending it in and 
ending somewhere around here. Um, this whole section will be plaid, so that seam isn't really going to be visible too much. The main purpose is that the front panel that goes down to the hem that's plaid, I want it to flare out with the body. I don't want it to be bored straight, and right now it is. So in order for it to not look like a loincloth or something, I'm intentionally making this design decision to make it start over here and then come out. So I hope that makes sense. And I think that's really the last design decisions other than bringing my my pleats into my waist because right now it looks like it's probably Frankenstein and I don't like that idea. So I might be bringing these pleats just up into the waist. Although that's going to be really bulky. It's going to be really bulky. So just maybe we leave it. Maybe we leave it. Because I like that where this is laying. Oh yo yo yo. But I do need to raise my waist still a little bit in the back. The black mark here is just about where I need to move it. I might make that like a quarter inch lower. But so far so good. Not too shabby. is it for this video mock-up part two I will be putting out a video for the sleeve saga as soon as I can because my goodness has it given me such a time and um, I just would love to share all the struggles with you guys and um, but anyways I highly suggest if you haven't already go watch the other two videos now I'll link them up above so you can click them and dive right into it get caught up on where this project started and where it's going to head towards and if you have not already liked this video give this video a thumbs up help the algorithm Mr. Algorithm really just needs help telling people what to watch these days. So give this video a thumbs up so it reaches more people who are interested in tailoring, sewing, fashion, anything of those sorts. Um, that way we can have a huge community and get to chat about all of these really cool things about tailoring. That is really the purpose of this channel, to explore all things tailoring because it is my absolute passion. It's so much fun for me. And it's just a never-ending puzzle that, for some reason, I feel like it's really fun. Um, and if you haven't done so already, make sure to subscribe to this channel if you've enjoyed everything you've watched so far. Um, and also hit the notification bell. That way you never miss the next video. And there will be more, I promise. Not only on this coat, but others. Anyways, I'm going to peace out now and literally go finish editing this video. <laughs> Bye. Just a preview for the sleeve saga video. Um, hope you enjoyed that exit of this video. I'll see you then. Good. <laughs>